This time, I've marked the number line with the single digit numbers. That would be 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. I didn't do 10 because 10 is a double digit. It has two numbers to make that number, a 1 and a 0. I'm talking only about the single digit numbers, the 0 through 9. Now the butterfly is going to fly. And I've also marked the middle line on the number line. So let's take a look at these. If I put the butterfly here at 6, it's really easy to tell that 6 would be closer to the scissors. What about if the butterfly flew to 2? Would the butterfly be closer to the scissors or the markers? Right, markers. How about if I put it at the 4? Well, it's really, really close to the middle, but the 4 is still closer. The butterfly at 4 is still closer to the markers than to the scissors. So anytime you have numbers 0, 1, 2, 3, and 4, it's going to be closer to the item that you have to the left. And if you have numbers boop, jumping over the middle, 5, 6, 7, 8, or 9, you're closer to the scissors. How about here? Right, scissors. Scissors. Markers. Ooh, zero is, oh, you're almost on top of the, the markers here when you're at zero. What about if you're at three? Yep, still the markers. What if you are at, here's this butterfly flying around. Where is he going to land? Seven. Right, closer to the scissors. The, he's almost at the scissors now before I put him at the 7. But even when he's at the 7, he's still closer to the scissors than to the markers. If the butterfly was to fly toward the markers, he would have to keep on flying until he passed this halfway mark and landed on either a 4 a 3, a 2, a 1, or the 0 digit. The butterfly is still between the scissors and the markers, but it's wherever he lands if he's closer to the scissors than the markers. Now he's on the scissors. <laughs>